Hello year 8 and welcome to this science lesson about where do we come from topic and today is a lesson 11. So let's start with the driving question for today. Remember to copy and underline the driving question in your exercise book. Below you can see the keyword for today and the driving question is should human shoes which genes get passed on. So before we start we move on with the new content so let's refresh some keywords learned so far so possibly find for each statement or definition the right keyword okay we will check when you are ready brilliant so for the first one the features of the living thing we call it characteristic so then differences in characteristic caused by surroundings or living condition we call it environmental variation then we have differences in characteristics that are passed on from parents to offspring we call it inherited variation that the differences in characteristic between living things we call it variation so in this lesson we are going to learn about selective breeding but what is it so what is selective breeding so selective breeding is a process used to produce different breeds of animals or varieties of plants that have, have useful characteristics so that the gene for a specific characteristic remains in the population okay so the question now is why organisms are selectively uh, bred so organisms are selectively bred to develop features that are useful or attractive for example animals that produce more meat or milk crops with disease resistance or dogs with a good and gentle temperament or decorative plant with a big or unusual flower okay so the main steps during selective breeding are step one a fever let's have a look to a selective breeding with dog okay so step one a female dog with spots this is the characteristic that we want to pass them okay then <clears throat> so this uh, female dog with spot will be selected then a male dog still with spot will be selected these two dogs will breed and the offspring will have a spot too only the offspring with more spots will be selected to breed again. This means each generation should get spottier. Okay, so with more and more spots. Thus, choosing the offspring characteristic, thus, using the offspring characteristic by selective the parents is called selective breeding. Okay, so when you are selecting parents with a specific characteristic uh, and you want that characteristic in the next generation, you are doing a selective breeding. Okay, another example of selective breeding could, uh, could be <clears throat> the one between Fraser cow and Jersey cow. The first able to produce high quantity of milk, second to produce creamy milk. So farmer will selectively breed these two cows and the, the results will be that some of the offspring will produce high quantity of creamy milk. So only this offspring, the one able to produce high quantity of creamy milk, will be selected for the next breeding this will be carried on until all offspring will give lots of creamy milk so the farmer will keep doing will keep going with selective breeding selecting just the offspring that will produce lots of creamy milk so it will keep going with the selective breeding in order to have that the all offspring will be able to produce creamy a lot a high quantity of creamy milk another example of selective breeding is uh, is the one through which farmer change wild boar to form pig 
to farm pig. Sorry. So selective breeding is the way we change the futures of animals in the future by deciding which individuals will breed together. Okay, so we choose, um, in this case, we selected some characteristic of the wild boar to keep doing with selective breeding to keep that characteristic and to have at the end the farm pick. So this help us control which genes get passed on to the next generation of offspring. Because when you are doing selective breeding, you are selecting a specific characteristic that you want to pass on to the next generation. Okay, so again, another example is the selective breeding between Braham cattle and English short horn. The first has a good resistance to heat but poor meat. The second one instead has good meat but poor heat resistance. So after the selective breeding, we had Santa Gertrude's cattle with the boat to characteristic. Okay, so you choose these two animals for their characteristic, you breed them together to have at the end one animal with boat characteristic. Okay, so now is your turn. So do I put here the four steps, the four main steps of selective breeding, but they are not in the right order. So what you need to do is to post the video, go through them and put them in the right order. So of course you don't have to copy them in your book, just put the letters in the right order. We will check it when you will be ready. Okay, so let's have a look to the right and uh, the right order of these four steps. So we have D force. Select the one you have the characteristic you are after, then breed them, select the best of the offspring, breed them together, continue this process over several generations. So you have D, B, A, C. Okay, now selective breeding is not used only with animals, but also with plants plants. We said this at the beginning of the lesson. So plant growers have used selective breeding to produce plants that are disease resistant or with attractive and bright colored flower, for example, roses. In this example of selective breeding in plants, is the, um, an, an example could be Blue roses, so the previous blue roses are the result of reducing the amount of red pigment in the rose and most appear light pink. The blue selective red roses now have near 100% of blue pigmentation. As any process, selective breeding has pros and cons. Of course, pros are related with advantage of a human that can manipulate organisms to benefit them. The possibility to create a new variation, like the farm pig from the wild bear, uh, boar, sorry, or the same for the plant. About cons instead, we have that organisms that has been selectively bred are more successful to environmental change and disease. You can occur in inbreeding, this because the offspring that will be used for breeding will be close related, and also animals after selective breeding can have healthy problems. Okay, so in this case you have the both sides, you have the pros and the cons. So <clears throat> now is a task for you. So true or false. So this means that you need to go through each one of the four statements and for each one you need to tell me if it is a true or false. So please pause the video, take your time to do the task and we will check it when you will be ready. Brilliant. Let's have a look to the answer. So for the first one, selective breeding is used just for plants. This is false, of course. We just said that you can use selective breeding for animals and for plants. Then the second one is, I said, selective breeding is used to pass on a disadvantageous characteristic. Of course, it's false because it's the advantageous characteristic, the one that you select and you want in the next generation. Then selective breeding can lead to a new variation. We said that this one is one of the pros. Selective breed, uh, selectively bred organisms are more susceptible to disease and disease. Uh, true as well. 
we said that this is one of the cons of the selective grading okay now another little task for you before we move on to the writing phase so it's a thing per shot uh, task so the question is what is elective reading and why do we use it so you need to think about your answer you need to talk in pair with someone there uh, next to you to be one of your parents one of your siblings and then we are going to share our thoughts so i will share with you my max game, max game so you can see if you were right or not okay so please post the video and we will check later when you will ready Take your time to do the task. Brilliant. Let's have a look to the max scheme. So what is selective breeding and why do we use it? So selective breeding is when we choose which individuals, animals or plants will be allowed to reproduce with each other. We do this to control or change the futures of the animals or plants uh, to make them how we want. By choosing who reproduces, uh, we control which genes get passed on. Okay, so this is the definition of selective uh, breeding and why we use it. Okay, now as a normal science lesson, the second half is about writing phase. So I prepared for you four different questions from the square to evaluate. So actually in the next slide, I prepared for you also some starting sentences to uh, help you to do the task. So please a post video, take your time to complete it. I would suggest no less than 10 minutes and we are going to check it together when we're ready. Okay, let's have a look to the math scheme now. So some example of selective breeding, get ready with the green pen first and uh, to add extra detail. So examples of selective breeding are cow produce more milk or pigs produce more me meat, chicken that lay more eggs, flowers with more attractive colors, pet with good features. For example, we do this with dogs, plants that resist disease, okay? Or if you put crop that uses that has a disease resistance, it's absolutely fine. That selective breeding is when humans choose which individuals, animal, or plant can reproduce. So this is a definition of selective breeding. Why we use it? It's used by humans because it can change the features of the animals and the plant. Think about what we have done with the wild or to from the wild boar to the farm pig. We are choosing which gene will get passed on. When you are selectively bred, breeding something, an animal or a plant, you are choosing a specific characteristic and that characteristic, you want that that characteristic is passed on to the next generation. You want to see that characteristic in the next generation. Okay, and for that reason, you are choosing which animals or which plant will be able to reproduce with one another. Okay, and analyze advantages of selective breeding, a larger number of animal crops, for example, or with fruit and vegetables, more meat and milk from cows, more meat from pigs, more eggs from chicken, new variation of animals and plants, for example, new type of fruit, different types of pet, disadvantages of selective breeding, in breeding, because we said that the, the next generation, the generation that will allow to reproduce, they will be um, close relative, and organisms more susceptible to um, diseases or animals with health problems. Okay, those are all the cons. Evaluate the arguments for an for and against selective breeding. So selective breeding is useful to manipulate organisms and benefit them, but in breeding can occur since organisms will be closely rela related. It's just what we said. Then less variation can increase organisms' susceptibility to new diseases. So we should be careful with selective breeding. Okay, because the animal or plant that will be selectively bred, they will have less variation. So it means that for them it could be easier to get some kinds of disease. Okay, then also health problems can be caused since there is a more chance for the organism to inherit harmful genetic defects. 
again this because they would be close related so i think we should use it a lot less even if that means we won't have enough meat milk fruit and vegetables okay so this is just my tool for the last for the last bit of course there's not a right or wrong answer this is my idea i said that for me we should use it a lot less if you put exactly the opposite it's right so it's your thought it's your evaluation okay so the very last things is today i've achieved remember describe explain analyze and evaluate for the gap the first gap for the second one help yourself using the sentences to explain why you achieved what you have achieved and remember achieved is not what you've done with the green pan or different color pan but what you've done on your own and the very very last thing is remember to do the 10 question quiz and show my homework related with this lesson okay so thanks for today well done and see you to the next one